about as bad as it could be Since everybody's bugging me Hey, it's Kendra here hanging out with none other than, let me brace myself here because I might have a fangirl moment, Shania Twain. How are you? I'm super, thank you. I mean, you just wrapped up the Now Tour a little while ago. How, how was it going back on tour across Canada, across everywhere? Oh, it was great. It's always great to go to the fans and to go to their town, um, be their guest. It's a different vibe. Um, and uh, it's a lot of fun, the volume of people as well, being on tour. So um, I enjoyed it. It was really great reconnecting with everybody in different countries and visiting. Uh, just traveling alone is, is interesting. Right. You know, so it's a privilege to be able to take my music around the world. Now, did you take a bus for a lot of the places? Did you fly a lot? Were you able to see a lot of places? Well, you know, I see those places through the audience. Right. Every city, every country has their own audience personality. That's the way I look at it. You know, uh, they all have their—they all have their own character. Right. And. And that is where you know, you know, it's not, there's nothing boring about, um, you know, touring as far as uh, the people are concerned. It's just different in every city. They're different, uh, different crowd. Now, it's been a while since you, since you stopped your residency at Caesars, but you just made a huge announcement. Yeah. You're headed back. I am going back. Uh, it's, I mean... The first time going to Las Vegas with a long residency was, uh, I mean, I felt privileged, of right. course, but I also was um, overwhelmed by what to expect. The demands are very high in Las Vegas because there's so many incredible shows. Production value is the best it is anywhere in the world. And I had not been on stage live for a long, long time. So I was really faced with a lot of challenge just in digging up the courage. But I wasn't going to waste the opportunity. So uh, I made the most of it and I had a very wonderful time and it was a great success. And that led me to going on tour. Yeah. That's what gave me the courage to do that. Right. I realized I did have the stamina and, you know, after all. And um, so I kept going. Yeah. So to be invited back to Las Vegas. A second time, <laughs> I, it's, an, it's outrageous. It's a really, really good feeling. And another opportunity to do more than uh, focus on just per the performance and the artistic direction, but to produce, you know, to pull the team together myself. Uh, well, not myself. Trust me, I don't do anything <laughs> myself. I never want to say that because it's always a, a, a big group of people that, you know, it takes a, a village really to um, make a a production great to put a production on especially in Las Vegas because like I said it's it's demanding it's right uh, it's a very unique environment and the you know in, in every way so I'm just happy to be back there yeah and I mean still the one residency was huge so how are you gonna make let's go Different. What, what's up your sleeve? Can we know anything? <laughs> well, I've evolved. I've learned so much since my first residency. A lot of it by going on the road. Right. And I realized that since I'd been gone, a huge percentage of my audience, who were two and three years old in the '90s, were grown up. Mm -hmm. And I was looking out in the audiences, and I'm going, "There's not. There's not as many little kids." And they didn't go anywhere, which is really wonderful. So I'm able to, to celebrate this long-term relationship I've had with the fans and, in essence, watch them become adults. And now we are together in a very different type of relationship. I mean, it's all still very nostalgic, but we are celebrating their, their, their marriages, their university graduations or college graduations, we're celebrating their 
uh, girls night out or the guys night out and and in a lot of cases they're bringing their parents right. to the shows yes instead of sitting on their parents shoulders at my shows you know 15 years ago so right um, I'm designing the show producing the show around this new audience personality mm -hmm. which is an audience of partiers essentially and right. people that are that are there to have fun and, and reminisce um, on growing up to the, to the music, falling in love to the music, and now, you know, getting married to the music, and, um, and, I mean, they are, um, they're drinking age, so Zappos <laughs> is, if you want to go to Las Vegas and have a party time, right. Zappos is that kind of place. I mean, it's really high energy and, and very much in the spirit of letting your hair down. I mean, The Woman in Me was my first cassette tape when I was like seven. So, See? so I mean, I'm right in that wheelhouse. That's it. And the cool part is I've seen that you, from ticket sales, which go on sale on Friday, is that a dollar from every ticket sale will go to your foundation. It was always my dream to give back to kids like myself. Mm -hmm. I mean, giving back in general. I mean, I think any performer is giving. You have to be a giving um, person and it, it, it's a lot of uh, you give a lot of yourself mm -hmm. up, up on stage but in that moment it's more of an exchange whereas when you're doing something that is charitable and you relate to that person that you're giving to uh, and their disadvantage there's a reward there like no other so a dollar from every ticket is going back is going into um, my foundation Shania Kids Can yeah. And this is a program that I developed based on my own experience as an underprivileged kid. So uh, it's exciting that through what I've um, been so lucky to um, to keep all of this, all of these years, and and not be one of the kids that fell through the cracks that didn't reach their potential, the potential of their talent that didn't maybe even have an opportunity to discover their talent. Um, and I'm, I'm, you know, this foundation aims to close those gaps for those kids so they don't fall through. Yeah, I did some, I did some research on the Zappos Theater at Planet Hollywood and there's 7,500 seats in the theater, which means- All right, well, you're gonna be there, right? I'm gonna be one of those. Yeah. But if you think about that, that's at least $7,500 each show. That, that's math I can't even do for your charity. That is an incredible thing to do and so very simple. I mean, you know, it, you add it up. You, it adds up. So fast. Uh, a lot of the investment for me has been more of an emotional one and uh, a purposeful one, unrelated to money. But you can't, uh, you need money in order to operate and for these kids to really benefit from the concept. So it's more than a feeling right now. It's a reality and it's materializing with money and with donations. It's incredible. So what's going to be your favorite part? What are you most excited about going back to Vegas with? Ah. <laughs> well, now that I know that my audience has followed me all these years yeah. and they are grown up and ready to party. Man, I feel like a mama. Uh, I think I'm just looking more forward to that, to the party of it. I'm, now I'm designing the show for that, for that um, mood and for, um, and to celebrate the classics. I'm going to uh, fill the show with the songs they all grew up to and that their parents got married to and that they're getting married to. And <laughs> it's this wonderful full, full circle celebration. and. Um, and I'm going to have a lot of fun with fashion. Yes, of course. Because, I, yeah, I mean, of course, the creative direction for me is the most exciting part. Uh, you know, getting involved with designing the lighting. And there's just all, all kinds of fun things to do in putting a show together. So, of course, I'm going to have fun every night with the audience. And, but my, you know, my biggest goal is to put on uh, a show that I've never, like I've never done before. Something new for them, for me, and also to take advantage of this really great room because it's uh, it's laid out like, it feels to me like, and I've seen many shows in there, it feels like a, like a big 
party club. Um, and so we're going to make the most of that and have a really great party. Well, we're very excited. We're so happy you're headed back to Vegas. I mean, I've been around the world. They only know two country people, Garth Brooks, Shania Twain, all the way. So <laughs> yeah, I wish you the best of luck Thank and you. good luck with Let's Go. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs>